Hello everybody, Casper here. Today I'm gonna do help I'm gonna teach you how to deal with the um, underwater cargo missions and how to uh, handle the helicopters most effectively. Now um, in regards to the special cargo missions that you use to fill up your warehouses and uh, sell them off as part of the um, as part of the uh, business update I think it was back in 2016 they've um, added this new mission as part of the um, criminal enterprises update. And um, it is annoying for a number of reasons. One is that um, you can pretty, pretty easily get stuck in the containers once you go in there to uh, click the cargo. And two is that um, the helicopters spawn and as soon as you surface, they'll shoot you down super quickly, super aggressively, and you pretty much just have to take them on the chin. You're like a sitting duck in the water. A lot of people get very frustrated by this mission, so I'm going to teach you how to deal with it rather easily. As you can see, I'm having trouble with the swimming controls, and I'm sorry, I cannot help you with that. That is just something you are going to need to to bear the burden of. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to get our last um, bit of cargo here. Just wait for that door to bust open, and we should be ready. Now, in third-person mode, it's pretty easy to get stuck in the containers, and uh, basically, um, basically, you get stuck in a position where you're facing forwards, and you just can't turn around. So I'm going to teach you how to... I'm going to teach you how to deal with that now. Okay, so we're stuck. We're stuck in the corner there. There we go. So all you got to do for this, just tap on the, uh, if you're on PlayStation, tap on the um, touchscreen mode, go into first person mode, and just, there you go. Swim right out of there. And we have our last uh, bit of cargo there. Um, the good thing about this mission, one good thing about this mission is that um, you can carry all three uh, pieces of cargo at once. So anyway, okay, so we're ready to get out of here now. So um, the best way to deal with the helicopter, there's no special vehicle spawning or anything like that. Just simply take it on the chin, just let them gun you down. Um, just roll with the punches. The idea is to just let the uh, choppers gun you down until you end up spawning on land. So let's just... Uh, let's just, uh, let's just uh, head up to the surface and um, pretty get shot at. Man. There we go, come and get me choppers. Okay, so just let me gun you down for the time being. Oh, they're taking their time this time. There we go, first death. Now you should respawn on a jet ski in the middle of the water. So while we're on the jet ski, we just want to um, head towards land as far as we can before we get shot down. Let's just head over there. We might actually make it all the way this time, you never know. <laughs> There we go, made it to land, awesome. Okay, now I'm probably gonna get shot down. So what you wanna do is, you wanna get out the Widowmaker. The Widowmaker is the gun you want, so you are gonna probably need a Widowmaker for this uh, mission. And you just wanna, you just wanna aggro the choppers as much as you can with the Widowmakers. I find um, if, you're, um, if you're shooting at them with the Widowmaker, they're a little more lenient, they're a little less aggressive. And um, the choppers, the, the choppers do not respawn endlessly, there's about three waves, so once you've taken care of all three waves of them, um, they'll leave you alone and you can just um, be on your merry way with the mission. So let's take down this one, there we go. No problem at all. There we go, he's down. Okay, let's wait for the next one to spawn out. That's the one good thing about their aggression, they uh, close on you very quickly. Okay, was that all of them? Okay, well, nope, nope, there we go. Yep. Oh, had me full for a second there. <laughs> there we go. Take him down with the Widowmaker. Uh. Yeah, I've got another one on my back, so this is going to happen. You are going to die a few times, so that's alright. As soon as you respawn, get out your Widowmaker and just... Rinse and repeat. Just like that. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, that guy's having a bit of a hard time. This guy's having a bit of a hard time here. <laughs> there we go. And that's that wave down. I'm just going to sit around and wait for a bit, see if there's another wave. I could technically um, spawn out the buzzard now. And just be on my merry way, but uh, I just want to make sure that I'm not going to have any uh, pursuers on the way over to the way out. Okay, cool. So I think we've taken out all of them. It's, it's that easy. That's all you have to do. So we need to... How do we do this? See your uh, vehicles. Get out the buzzard. The buzzard should spawn very close to you. As the CEO buzzard is so famous for doing. Jump in the buzzard. And fly away over to the uh, safe house. You get to the safe house, you um, transfer another vehicle, you drive a vehicle over to your warehouse, and the mission is done. There you go. 
So I can just um, casually and safely fly over to the safe house now without any resistance, without any pursuers, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just let the chopper shoot you down, and uh, every time you respawn, you uh, fire back at them with the Widowmaker. That's uh, pretty much what you have to do. So this mission isn't actually as terrible as a lot of people think it is. Uh, as long as you don't try any special tricks. If you just um, you just roll with the punches, you just take it on the chin, um, you can do it quite easily, as um, I've just demonstrated there. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you did um, benefit from this video, if it helped you in your way, I'd uh, love to hear about it in the comments. So I'll go ahead and um, share how it helped you in the comments. Um, please uh, like the video and subscribe um, if you enjoyed it. And um, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Casper out.